Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert from any base into base 10. It's the first essential skill we want to learn. The reason why we want to be able to do this is because we've grown up counting in base 10, and as a result, we're able to conceptualize very quickly relative sizes. Um, really, the reason why we use different bases in computer science is because it's convenience, and a computer has to work in base 2 for some technical reasons we'll talk about later. So, if we look at look here, we have 314, and that's in base 10. We have 10101 in base 2, and the problem is, I have no idea how big that really is. Likewise, we have 321 in base 4. Again, I have no idea how big that is, so we're going to convert these two into base 10. But first, I'm going to take a look at 314 and write this in a way that many students learn when they're younger. I'm going to break it up into my hundreds my tens and my ones. I have three hundreds, so I can write that as three times a hundred. I have one ten, so I can write that as one times ten. And I have four ones, so I can write that as four times one. So what we want to look for here is a pattern. And a pattern that you might notice here is that, well, this is base ten, right? So what happens if I do this? One hundred can be written as ten squared. 10 can be written as 10 to the power of 1. And if we remember our exponent rules, 1 can be written as 10 to the power of 0. And so what we see is we have 314 can be broken up and written in this format. And that is, that is the idea that allows us to convert a number in any base back into base 2. Because the thinking is that in base 10, the units are represented, my units are 10s. But in base 2, my units would be 2s, 4s, 8s, and so on and so forth. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the same idea, the same thinking here. So I'm going to start on the left-hand side here, and, I, and the first one's a 1. And if I take this for a second, let's just get a different color here. If we think of this as 0, 1, position 1, position 2, position 3, and position 4, I can think of this as... 1 times 2 to the power of 4 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 2 plus 0 times 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0. So what I've done is I've taken this base 2 number and written it in a base 10 format using powers of 2 as my placeholders. So now I can just simplify this. So this is like saying 1 times 8 plus 0 times 4 plus 1 times, sorry, 16. 0 times 8 plus 1 times 4 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 1. And then I can rewrite this as 16 plus 4 plus 1, which is 21. So 10101 in base 2 is simply 21. And a nice thing to point out to everyone is that if you take your built-in calculator, typically it will be in this standard format, you have what's called a programming format in it. So if I take my number, and I see here I can set to be in bin, binary. Notice all the keys black out. I can put 10101, and that's in base 2. And then I say convert to decimal, and there's my value. Let's do the same thing with 321 in base 4. So again, if I get one color here, a red, the 1 is in the 0th position, the 2 is in the 1 position, and the 3 is in the 2 position. So, I can do this as saying 3 times 4 squared plus 2 times 4 to the 1 plus 1 times 4 to the 0, which is 3 times 16 plus 2 times 4 plus pardon me, 1 times 1. Let's just take this over here, shall we? 
3 times 16 is 48 plus 8 plus 1. 48 plus 8 is going to give me 56, plus 1 is 57. So 3, 2, 1 in base 4 is 57 in base 10. I hope these examples helped.